Hey Renegades, it's Sean C. Smith. We're going to talk a little bit about the Predators' loss to the Tampa Bay Lightning. I thought to myself as the team was headed into this game after an extended break, even though this one was a planned extended break, that I didn't know which team was going to come out of that extended break. We saw the Predators come back from a dominant performance overseas and have some time off and come back and flounder quite extensively. And then we saw them come back from an unplanned break after the flood at Bridgestone Arena and dominate once again. So it was going to be really interesting to see what happened when the Predators came back from this five-day break after their last game, and I didn't know which team was going to show up. Well, here's the thing. I knew one team was going to show up, and that was the Tampa Bay Lightning. I had kind of hoped that if the Predators had to play one team from the Stanley Cup Finals last season, that it was going to be the Colorado Avalanche, as that team is incredibly banged up right now and might have given the Predators a really good opportunity to get off to a strong start against a team that's been pretty good here lately, even if they're missing a lot of key players. But instead, it was the Tampa Bay Lightning that the Predators had to play down in Tampa Bay for the Father's Trip. And so you'd think with all of these things going on, Father's Trip, reverse re the previously undefeated reverse retro Mustard Cats, which is quite possibly the greatest jersey of all time. And here's the thing came out very quickly and the Tampa Bay Lightning reminded the Predators that even though they may not have won the Stanley Cup last season, that they did go to the final and they showed them exactly why they went to that final, putting up two quick goals and putting the team in a hole that they were never really able to quite dig out of. Sure, they tied it up, but it didn't really matter for too long because the Tampa Bay Lightning, much, much more dominant team. The Predators looked a little bit lost out there. Really, I noticed the biggest problem seemed to be in the neutral zone. Transitions were an issue for the team, getting caught short down there and getting the other team through the uh, to the neutral zone quickly, getting down and getting pretty easy wide open shots on Soros. Not really what you want to do to support your goalie, but what it comes down to at the end of the night was that Tampa Bay ran all over the Predators and the Predators looked like they didn't know what to do to stop it. And unfortunately, that's how the game ended. Kind of a lopsided game, but it's the first game back after five days off. I'd hoped it would be a different team that showed up, but this is the team that came. So hopefully um, Predators coming back on, on Saturday to play against the Ottawa Senators. Hopefully that will be a different story and the Preds will have a much better time then. Maybe they can shake off the rust with this past game that they lost to Tampa Bay and then come out swinging, come out strong, come out looking good against Ottawa. I hope that's how things go, Charlie. I'm not going to be able to... Uh, be on the show after that game just to let everybody know right now i'll be in cincinnati with my son playing hockey so charlie that's all i got i'm going to send it back over to